Hey guys, welcome to Arctic. So in this video, I'll solve a question based on finding the output again. And the question was asked by a subscriber in one of my videos in the comment section. So I'll solve the question. And the question basically tests your knowledge about uh, global variables and local variables. So here is the question and here you can see G is declared globally. And again, G another G is global uh, declared locally. So we'll see how to solve this question. Okay, so now I've drawn a table here. The, and in the exam you have, to try, you have to draw a table in the rough section okay now uh, since uh, while solving such question we will write all the variables which are given in the question in the tables okay now the first variable we see, which we see is g which is a global variable and to uh, denote a global variable we use this operator okay therefore we will write operator and then g this is global variable okay then we have uh, x here so we will write x here and we'll write y here is y also we'll write y here and then in the main we have another g which is a local variable since it is declared inside a function therefore we have g so whenever a variable is declared outside all the functions it is a global variable and whenever whenever a variable is declared declared inside a function it is a local variable to that function see so here g is a local and this g is global okay now as usual we'll go line by line first line is include second is include third one we have is a declaration for the global variable and it is assigning value 20 to it so we'll so we'll assign 20 to it okay so our global variable is 20 now after this we have a function here and which is taking two arguments that is integer type the first one is x and uh, in this case it is taking by reference so so whenever whenever we are passing values the value will be changed here whatever is happening inside this then we have integer y and then inside the function we have this thing happening after this we will go to main directly <coughs> now in the main we have the first statement as declar declaration for the g which is local variable and our g has a value of 7 so we write 7 here ok after this we are passing these two values to the, to the function ok this means that we are passing g that is global local g that is 7 and then we are passing the global g that is 20 now now we are passing g as reference because this is taking g as reference therefore what we are passing we are passing f u and c and we are passing the first one that is g that is 7 comma the global that is 20 now understand that when whatever changes are happening here will be reflected in this g okay because whatever our, now our g has become x here therefore whatever value x gets will be re will be reflected in this g okay i'll tell you after this now we are passing 720 therefore our, this will go here our control will go here and our x will become g that is 7 here okay then afterwards we have second one as global g that is y so our y will become global g that is 20 and here we are passing this y we are passing g that is second argument as uh, pass by value after this we'll go inside this function and here we have a statement that, that says x is equal to x minus y this means that our x will become x is equal to x minus y our x here is 7 and y is 20 this means that x is equal to 7 minus 20 that is nothing but minus 13 okay so our x will become minus 13 after this execution after this we have y is equal to x into 10 okay so our y will become y is equal to now our x is minus 13 minus 13 into 10 that is minus 130 so y is minus 130 right now after this we have c out okay and now here our g will re remain same that is 20 because there is nothing happening in g and our this g that is local g has changed the value because it was passed by reference and its value is same as minus 13 okay and therefore this is minus 13 because the values are reflected in this g so we'll give c out and c out is x so here we'll write the output here so in the answer sheet you'll write the output in this in the answer right answer side okay so your output is p u t sorry so we'll give output as x now our x is minus 13 here so we'll write minus 13 and then we have a comma here and then we have y our y is minus 130 okay then we have new line here so we'll give a new line after this now here after this 
the function is finished and we'll go outside and we'll come back to our main now in this we were here and after this we'll go here now our c out is g now what is g g has a value of minus 13 because it was passed by reference and it will take value of x okay so our g is minus 13 then we have a comma here see there is comma and then we are writing we are giving output as uh, global g which is nothing but 20 which is it is same because it was passed by value after this we have a new line okay now after this we are passing we are again calling the function by two uh, values and this time we are passing the global first and then then and then the, then the local okay see so therefore we are passing so here we are passing global g global g is 20 and local g is now our minus 13 okay so we are passing minus 30 in the second now since the first one is always passed by reference in this case therefore our g is that is 20 is that is just g is passed by reference okay so our x will become uh, g, global g that is x will become 20 so our x is 20 now and our y is uh, g that is seven, uh, minus 13 okay now whatever changes are made in this x will be reflected in this global g okay now after this we have this statement that is x is equal to x minus 10 therefore our x this will become x will become x minus 10 that is now here x is 20 20 minus minus 13 because y is 30 minus 13 this will become 20 plus 13 that is 33 okay because here we have 2 minus so our x will become 33 okay okay then we have y is equal to x into 10 okay so our x is nothing but 33 and 33 into 10 is 330 so y is 330 now so write 330 here okay then after this uh, again we are giving c out and before that we'll just write the values here so our g is same as minus 13 which was passed because it is passed by value and our g has got new value which is of x our x is 33 okay fair enough after this we'll give c out c out is x and this is given here now x is 33 then we have a comma here then we are giving y y is nothing but 330 now after this we have uh, we'll go back to the main and then we, we were here and then we'll go here we'll give c out as g now our g is minus 13 and then we have a comma here we'll give a comma and then we have global g that is 33 so here we have ended the program and here we have the final output so this is our output and in the exam question paper answer sheet you will write this output and all this stuff will go in the rough side so yeah thanks for watching and if you have any queries or doubts or any suggestions you can engage in the comment section below thanks for watching